Hi, welcome to Speed Dating with Learning Technologies. My name is Kim Crossman and I'm a learning design assistant at the Dutton Institute. I'm excited to introduce you to Snagit. Snagit is a user-friendly screenshot software that captures video display and audio output. It is made by Texman, the creators of Camtasia and Jing. So what can you do with Snagit? You can take screenshots, mark up screenshots, edit and combine images, make screen recordings, take panoramic scrolling captures, and even make GIFs. But how can you use Snagit to enhance learning? Snagit can be used to enhance the student learning experience in a variety of ways. It can be used to give meaningful feedback to students, to explain difficult or complex ideas, and even to create a tutorial. Here's an example of an instructor giving a student personalized feedback. One of my favorite ideas around using Snagit is to use it to give feedback to students. Let's imagine, for example, that this is a student's essay and I've just read it through and there's a few things I want to clarify. Um, I want to clarify a point that the student's written here and I want to clarify a point that the student's written here and I want to clarify a point that the students have written here. So I could be opening up a student's work onto my screen. I could just read it through, check where I want to give them some feedback and I could open up Snagit and I could mark around that piece of work. I don't have to go full screen because I can always scroll through it. And then I could actually record myself giving feedback to my students. So I could just click here and um, uh, just want to talk about this problem here. You say students need to understand that not everything they access through social media is, in, is necessarily true. Can you explain a little bit more about what you mean by this? Then I'll maybe go down to the next thing, blah, 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 talk about that, and then the next thing. So I could actually give feedback to the students orally, going through their work, and then save that as a video. Here's an example of an instructor explaining a complex idea. Well, in this situation, it's, it's not exactly a complex idea, but it does show you how an instructor can explain to the student in more detail what they're seeing on the screen. This is France, the capital of France is Paris, which is kind of situated in the north of the country. France borders with various other countries, including uh, Belgium, Luxembourg, Germany, Switzerland, Italy, and here to the south, it also borders with Spain. I could click on the pause button. Now what I could do is I could move to another video and carry on. And finally, here's an example of how to create a tutorial. And this one's fun because it uses Snagit to explain how to use Snagit to create a GIF. Let's get started. If you already have a video that you'd like to turn into a GIF, you can open it from Snagit Editor by going to File, Open, and then selecting your video. You can also use Snagit to record a video of your screen. When recording a video for a GIF, it's best to select just enough of your screen to show what is happening. A smaller frame helps to keep the focus on the action and limit the file size, which can be a challenge. As you record, keep in mind that processes involving around two to five simple steps are the ideal length for a GIF. So what level of skills and experience are needed to use Snagit? Very little. Snagit is easy street. Really anyone can use Snagit. So how do you get access to Snagit? You might first go to the TechSmith website and download their free demo. It's great because you can try it out for 15 days. If you're ready to purchase Snagit, go to Software at Penn State for purchasing options. Finally, to learn more about Snagit, visit TechSmith and watch the many Snagit tutorials that are available there.